I'm going to tell you guys why I think the NVIDIA Shield is the best streaming device you can get. This video is sponsored by two VPN providers, Surfshark VPN, one of my top VPNs if you're looking for an excellent bundled offering. The bundled offering with Surfshark One Plus includes antivirus, various data breach protection features, and a data removal service called Incogni. This is a service that will go to websites like White Pages and remove your IRL information. So this is definitely a solid pickup. It's a top rated offering here on my channel. And the data broker removal service is my top recommended one since it's so affordable. This is half as much as you're gonna pay with some of the other services out there like Delete Me. So definitely a solid pickup. However, if you're looking for some other options, TorGuard is another good choice. It includes some remote VPN offerings, um, different email bundle offerings. It also includes interesting cloud proxy or um, V2 Ray options if you're in a sensory country. The basic plan also includes SOX5 proxy for torrenting, which is excellent. If you're looking for dedicated IPs, it's also very good since there's interesting bundles that are very affordable. If you want to use any of these things with TorGuard, use promo code TOMSPARK2023. With Surfshark, use my link in the description down below. It'll help support the channel. And these are two excellent products that I stand by and recommend on a daily basis. So guys, this is my NVIDIA Shield. I purchased it October 18, 2022. And since then, it's been my pretty much my go-to main device to stream content on. It's an excellent device and well worth the $200 asking point. Additionally, you can also get this tube version, which is slightly different for around $150, but this is still a good deal. One of my favorite things about the NVIDIA Shield, of course, is its controller. This is my favorite controller for a streaming device, hands down. And one reason I really like it is because these buttons light up in the middle of the night or whenever you watch TV and you want to pause or change things. These buttons on here don't have much differentiation in terms of the size. So being able to have a light just by turning the remote or picking it up, it'll light up. It's extremely sensitive and the lights will light up, letting you easily able to control content. Of course, you can just keep your thumb right here while you're watching and pause whenever you want. And just in general, the, the, the device of this is very good. Another thing I really like about it is its price. It's only $30, which is a really good price. If you look up the Apple TV remote, you'll see it's much more expensive. Um, you can get kind of knockoff brands, um, but the de facto kind of brand is going to be around $60. So the price of an NVIDIA Shield remote is $30. You could buy two of these for the price of one. I actually bought like four of these just in case I lost any. But then I found out that an NVIDIA Shield has a really cool feature. It's called find your remote function. So basically this feature will actually find the remote for you. It's in the settings remote and then it'll end up beeping your device. So if you lose your remote in the couch, you can go on the TV and find your remote. You might be saying, well, Tom, if I lost my remote, how am I going to control the TV to find my remote? Well, luckily there's a shield app for iOS and Android, and you could control your shield TV even with just your phone. However, this is a great way to find your lost device by using your phone, since using a phone isn't really a full replacement for a device like this that has the tactile control and stuff like that. You don't want to always have to be pulling out the remote app on your phone. But probably the number one reason I like using the NVIDIA Shield is this Streamio application. This is not available on Apple TV, and you can connect this with various other add-ons and pretty much watch anything you want at any time. So this is definitely the reason is that the ecosystem and Android App Store is just more opened up than the other alternatives like Fire Sticks and those kind of, well, Fire Sticks maybe a little bit more than Apple TV, but even Apple TV barely just added a VPN feature, which is kind of surprising since, um, you know, these Android based operating systems have had them forever. Another reason I really like the NVIDIA Shield is that it has a really cool AI scaling up um, upscaling feature that you won't find in any of the other devices. Basically, this will put 1080p content to 4K. This works really well with YouTube and a lot of other content that just isn't 4K. It will really make certain things look really good. Sometimes it's a little too sharp um, and you could turn it off just by pushing this little button up here at the top right and turning it back on and stuff. So it's easy to disable or disable to see if you like it or not. But it is kind of a cool feature that definitely look, makes look some specific content, especially older movies, older shows look a lot better. Um, it can kind of have some weird artifacts, but like I said, if that happens, just turn it off. But for some things, it really does make quite a difference to making it look a little bit sharper, which I like. 
There are some other benefits too, like the ability to use GeForce Now on it. Um, there's a decent Android app store with games. You could connect Bluetooth to this specific model um, and play some Android app games. Here you can see a comparison why the Shield TV is better. According to them, it has more support for Google Play, 4K gaming, um, enhanced H. So this is the AI upscaling. Um, GeForce Now. So primarily it's AI scaling and GeForce Now compatibility, which is pretty good. Here's a comparison between the different various models, and I kind of discussed that briefly. This one has more capabilities, so it's a little bit better processor than this one, and I believe it does have Bluetooth where the other one does not. Um, I also believe that the bigger one seems to have a little bit more. Uh, the tube one just um, has not as um, big of a hard drive. Um, although it does seem to have the kind of the same processor, um, but the, the shield one that I have is just a little bit bigger. Um, honestly, there really isn't seemingly too much difference from them. I guess it has a little bit less RAM, so it's just a little bit less powerful than this one. This one might be a little bit better for gaming, but this one honestly seems perfectly capable for any media solutions. All right, guys, those are my top reasons why I love the Nvidia Shield, and I think it's the best Android-based and just overall best TV streaming solution. Let me know down in the comments down below what you use, and I'll see you again in another video very soon.